Ooh, he's changing, starting down at the bottom. I see it by his antennas. It's like magic. When he's completely finished, his head cap and antennae will fall off and drop to the bottom of the cage. And then he will be a chrysalis, like the one just you see to the right. I do not know how they do this. He's almost where he's going to drop his exoskeleton here. There goes the exoskeleton here in just a moment. This is so cool. Oh, it just dropped. And he has a little more movement to make it look like a real chrysalis. Meantime, my other J over here, let's see if I can get to him, there, he unjayed and now he, oh dear, now he's starting to turn, I can see it on his head. He's starting to go at the same time, holy cow. Yep, he's turning to, oh my gosh, it's contagious. We're going to let him keep going, do his thing. All right, and then we're gonna come back over here. I've been waiting all day for one of these guys to do this, and now they're both doing it at the same time. Oh, that's cool. 
We'll check on the other guy here in a minute. Okay, let me sit back over here. Yep, he's still doing his thing. Hopefully when he's done, he will look like this. That's what he should look like when he's done. If they have a good shed. Okay, his turn. so cool. You can see he's pushing his exoskeleton off of him. After he drops his exoskeleton, we'll go back and look at the first little guy, see how he's doing. They'll wiggle for a while too before they go dormant. Oh, he's almost there. Creepy looking. <laughs> oh, it fell. All right, so he's going to keep moving around in there for a minute. Let's go back and check our guy. Here he is. <coughs> Pardon me. He's closing in to look like that, but he's not there yet. So he's still in process. This J, he still has his antennae sticking up, so he's not ready to go yet. Maybe tomorrow. Let's come back over to this guy. Whoa, he's still doing his thing. What you see over to the right is an exoskeleton that did not actually drop off. It stuck to the top. Still trying to get comfy. <laughs> All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six chrysalises. That means we still have four caterpillars left because we have 10 total. slowing down a little bit. Back over to here. This guy is working on it. This guy actually went, this one in the middle now, he 
he became a chrysalis about three or four hours ago. Unfortunately, I wasn't home when it happened, so I missed getting him on camera. And this guy up at the top, he has not attached himself to become a J yet, so that'll probably happen tomorrow because he's gone off food now. He's a J, so he should probably go by tomorrow. They typically go within 24 hours of becoming a J. The letter J, sorry. All right, let's come back and look at this guy. He's working on it. So basically, if we give him enough time, he will end up looking like the one we just saw over here a moment ago. That one right there, nice and beautiful. And as they grow over the next two weeks, we will start to see the orange wings along the inside of the chrysalis. It's translucent, so it's actually really cool. And then around day 14, 15, or 16, uh, we'll probably wake up in the morning and find a butterfly hanging off the bottom of this and then we will let them go. So by tomorrow, this guy here should look like that guy there, as well as our friend over here. He should look like that as well. And it's been 12 minutes, so I will let you go. Thanks for watching.